Hello and welcome to this series about Sitecore Basics. In this video, we are going to add a component to a page. So to add a component to a page, it's the best practice to use the experience editor because it's the most easiest and convenient way. And a component can be added to placeholders that looks like this. These are places where you can add components besides possible fixed values like you see here for the title and the content field. So to add a component you select or click the placeholder and you will see the add here button. Now another way to get these buttons is to toggle or click this component and then you will see the places um, where you can add components. So it's more than only the one that you selected. And to add a component you will click the add here button and this light box will appear. Now based on your environment and configurations you will see um, a number of tabs and components that are available to you. In this video I am using the Sitecore Express Accelerator framework. Um, so this, these are a list of default components. And I'm going to add a rich text component for the sake of this video. I select it and then click on the select button. And as you can see, my component is added to the page. And you will see um, this little toolbox, which allows me to further configure this component. Now we're not going into those details in this video, but I can click here to select it and to add some text. Or if I want to, I can click this little icon here to get the rich text editor. Um, or if I have to do some quick editing, I can use the inline edit tools like this. I can click outside of the box and then it's deselected. I can select this item here and it's selected again. And when I'm going to save the page, it will store this component on the page. Now, an important thing to understand is the way Sidecore handles content. Um, in the previous video, we have stored the content like the page title and the content field here on the page item. So let me switch back to the content editor. Um, I'm going to open, close and open the home to refresh it. Now on the page zero, you can see that I have a field called content um, where this content is stored and switching back to the experience editor it is shown here but there is no fields for the component that i added here switching back to the content editor so what happened is when i now open this page it has added a, a data folder here which is the default behavior of sxa the sidecore experience accelerator framework but it's a good practice to work like this um, if you are going to build custom components and it has added an item which was named text1 but it can be renamed by you and here you will have the text field where this little piece of text is stored so when i go back to the experience editor you can see that my component has also added an item like the page um, and that means that for each component where you are going to add content an item is created by Sitecore and it's required to store the information. So it's important to know the difference that it is um, possible to store information on the page, uh, but in some cases it's just undoable for content authors to store the content in all different fields, um, especially for more visual items like carousels or um, some hero components. And then it's better to use components which require an item to store the information on. 